All right, so in this video today, I'm going to be speaking about the Orlando Magic and I'm going to be discussing a potential combination of players we may see in the front court in this upcoming season. And trust me, it's very interesting. But before I get into that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. All the links to support the channel will be down below in the description. I'd appreciate if you gave them a look. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. So Jamal Mosley allegedly kind of tried out in training camp a lineup that included Paolo Banquero. Wendell Carter and Bobo and that really stood out for me but the first thing that really really stood out to me is that Bobo was potentially part of Jamal Mosley's plans because Bobo was someone who I really didn't know how much involvement he'll have with the team this year but it just shows that he's showed up to training camp he's healthy and Jamal Mosley definitely thinks highly of him and Bobo is definitely someone who can add another dynamic at the five position but the main thing for me is that this trio could really counteract a lot of small ball lineups because the whole point of small ball is to kind of remove the slow footed rim protectors and take them out of the game for example the Utah Jazz had a lot of issues with Rudy Gobert and a lot of series notably against Dallas because they were kind of going five out and although Maxi Kleber is not small per se he's a stretch five which forced Rudy Gobert to come out of the paint and then when he was forced to be a rim protector that would also leave the help defender to collapse and there'll be a wide open man in the corner now this is the type of lineup that can definitely counteract small ball lineups because no one on this lineup is really slow footed someone like Wendell Carter can definitely guard wings and fives same as Paolo Banquero who showed in summer league he can guard every position at an elite level or near to elite level and Bobo is someone who can be a real wild card we know he's a great rim protector and he's very skilled offensively he can space the floor and has a handle for his height so who knows but this lineup is going to be very very intriguing and I would love to see what the remaining two guys on the floor will be maybe you have a lineup of Cole Anthony, Markel Fultz and these three or who knows when Markel's obviously healthy but this definitely looks dangerous because the amount of different lineups you could throw at different teams is amazing because when healthy the Orlando Magic have a lot of pieces to put together and different looks you can throw at different opponents because the combination of having someone like Markel Fultz and Cole Anthony on the floor who can be two shot creating guards playmaking guards alongside having Terrence um, Ross on the floor and Paolo and then Wendell or you could go really big and have one traditional point guard in Markel on the floor Franz at the two which he did play at Michigan then you have those three in the front court that could be a really big lineup and I'm not saying it's going to work but it's definitely something you can throw at an opponent that will definitely throw them off and just give them something to think about so that's the biggest thing for the magic they always have something to give the opponent opposition team to think about because the amount of looks they can throw at another team is simply ridiculous now in my humble opinion do i feel like this will be a lineup that will be used very often no like it's like it said earlier like i said earlier it's an experiment it could go wrong it could go right it's something you need to try out however what i do really like is that jamal mosley is willing to give these things a try and he's not being like doc rivers brackets i'm a Sixers fan hence why i'm bringing him up he's not being like doc rivers and being stubborn and not trying out new lineups because i definitely feel like if you experiment it'll be good to see what combination of players work well together and kind of breaking the stereotype and the tradition of the direction the nba is going in because the Cavs kind of did something similar having laurie mark and then evan mobley and jared allen everybody laughed at them at the start of the season well look at them now they're one of the best defensive teams in the nba they had two of the best shot blocking bigs in the nba and on top of that they were a very good team and the only thing that held them back was injuries so i definitely feel like the orlando magic can take something like that model it and craft into something of their own because they definitely have something special going on there now one thing i really want to see which is race left on is Paolo Banquero. What position is he going to be? And you guys might be like, oh, he's going to be the four, which is true, but I'm describing more of his role. Is he going to be used more of a point forward the way DeMar DeRozan's been slightly used often? Because if you watch Bulls games, you see DeMar DeRozan's often the primary playmaker in the half court and he's kind of running the offense, which is weird to say, but I really do feel like Paolo has that element to his game, which he showed in um, Summer League. So will that be something Paolo will be used as? Will Paolo be used off the ball as a cutter? I really don't know. And these things I'll be intrigued to see but i just really want to see what the orlando magic do this year because they're extremely talented and i feel like with all the puzzles and all the pieces put together to make the puzzle work they could definitely be one of the better teams in the eastern conference which i've said many many times but it depends on who's healthy the entire roster being healthy and everyone buying in which i definitely feel like will happen but the quiz the biggest question mark is definitely the help so the help the health so hopefully people like jonathan isaac and markel Fultz can break the injury curse and definitely come back through also 
also I've got a video on Franz Wagner coming on the way because I feel like he's being forgotten not amongst the Magic fans but amongst most NBA fans but that's on the way but that's kind of sidetracking thank you guys for listening to this video and watching this video um let me know your opinions on this lineup do you disagree with me do you agree with me do you feel like it's a good idea do you feel like it's not i'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section down below because at the end of the day youtube is about agreeing to disagree i love to hear everyone's thoughts as long as we keep it respectful but thank you guys for listening to this video and i'm out peace